In section 15.5, we are exploring divergence and curl in three dimensions. So as we begin to approach the end of our calculus journeys together, we have one important goal remaining. We need to now lift both forms of Green's theorem, so that circulation form and that flux form, out of the plane and into space. So let's begin this by a quick review of the divergence and curl in the plane. So we have that for some vector field, capital F. We know that our two-dimensional divergence is defined as the partial derivative of f with respect to x plus the partial derivative of g with respect to y. And let's keep in mind that this divergence measures the expansion or contraction of a vector field at each point. So this measures the expansion or contraction of our vector field, capital F, at each point. So with two-dimensional curl, we know that this is defined as the partial derivative of g with respect to x minus the partial derivative of f with respect to y. And our two-dimensional curl measures the rotation of a vector field at each point. This measures the rotation of the vector field at each point. So let's go ahead now and explore how we extend these two concepts into three dimensions or into space. 